If you play GTA RP and you are always running out of keybinds, this video is for you. Using the Elgato Stream Deck, there's a way for you to have an unlimited amount of keybinds and you don't actually even need to use your keyboard. Here's the tea. The Elgato Stream Deck has a function called the multi-action. This is going to be your bread and butter in creating all of your keybinds without actually needing to use your keyboard. Meaning even if you're in a different city, you can still use this method to create keybinds for whatever city you're in. This works great, especially if you work for PD or EMS and need to open your MDT really quickly, or if you've got multiple jobs and you wanna easily switch between them. Creating a multi-action is so easy. The first thing you need to do is add the system hotkey, which in this case is gonna be T. So that's gonna bring up your tagline to add the emo in. And then you add system text. That is where you type the actual wording of the emote in the text box. The title is just an indicator for you to know what emote it is that you're using, but it's very important in the text box to type exactly what the emote is that you'll want to use. If you're someone who likes text to appear when you're doing the action, you just have to do the same process twice within the same one multi-action. So after you've done the system hotkey and text for your emote, you're then going to add a system hotkey and system text for the words that you want to appear in the sky or above your character's head. So you'll do system hotkey T to bring up the console and then the system text will be the slash me to put the text in the sky or above your head or whatever it is it is in your city. If you're someone like me who's got a few cities that you play in, you can actually create a folder for the city that you play in, the different ones you've got because sometimes different cities have different keybinds and they don't always translate over to each other. So this way you can keep your keyboard clear of whatever keybind it is that you use the most and then just open up the folder that you're using for that city at the time so that you can always have your keybinds active whenever you're playing. This is also really helpful if you have multiple characters and if you've got a voice changer for the different characters, this way you can open up the profile of the character that you're playing at the time, choose their voice, and use the emotes that you typically use for that character. If you're a live streamer, you can actually create a profile switch under the navigation tab of the Elgato Stream Deck options to create a switch between your GTA RP keybinds and your main streaming profile. So you have a really seamless transition between your gameplay and your live stream in case you need to mute your mic or handle something really quickly on stream. If you're into gang RP, then the multi-action switch might be really useful for you if you need to do an action that you can do on and off. For example, in my gang, we have chains and I really wanna be able to take my chain on and off at a press of a button, just in case I feel like something's about to pop off. So with the switch, you can create two chains, a switch of actions using the same process that we use to create a multi-action so that I could put the chain on and take it off whenever I want. This tip will work across every stream deck available, so I hope it helps. Happy RP and here's to unlimited keybinds.